Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by AnyTrans, and with the release of iOS 16 beta software, if you're looking to update to the beta, there could be data loss. So avoid that with AnyTrans backup feature. They have a full backup feature. With one click, you can back up almost all of your data, things like messages, photos, videos, songs, and much more. You also have incremental backup, so you can select exactly the data that you would like to back up. And my favorite option is the Air Backup. This allows you to back up your iPhone over the air. You don't even have to think about it. So check out AnyTrans link will be in the description down below. Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, as we continue our iOS 16 coverage today, I have a follow-up video for you guys as per usual on iOS 16 developer beta 2. It's been out for a couple of days. I've had some time to play around with the software and I can give you some more details in regards to performance, battery, and new features and changes that I've come across after using the software for a bit longer time. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, iOS 16 Developer Beta 2, as I mentioned, has been out for a couple of days now. And I want to start off with Face ID on the lock screen. Now, this has been new for me right there, this prompt. Face is too far away. When I usually get into my vehicle, I would set my iPhone up on the mount for GPS purposes, and sometimes it wouldn't unlock. And on iOS 16 Beta 1 or iOS 15, I never saw this prompt right here. Let me know in those comments down below, have you ever seen FaceTime prompt you with this Face is too far prompt on the lock screen when you're too far away. Sometimes I'm sitting farther back, right, and the iPhone is sitting on the mount, as I mentioned, and when I go to unlock, this appears right here. So something that I've noticed, in my case, this is something new within iOS 16 Developer Beta 2. Now, I also want to talk about the family checklist. This is a brand new feature that Apple has added under family settings right here in iCloud settings. So if we go to family, we have do more with family, and underneath here, we have the family checklist. Now, we had these three options before. We had add family, medical ID, we had the share location with family, we had add recovery recovery contact but now Apple has also prompted me with the share iCloud plus with your family option so a fourth option has been added again this one disappeared for me in beta 2 under the family checklist options for iCloud options so something new there with beta 2 as well now I want to jump over into screen time when I go ahead and set up screen time in beta 2 we get a new splash screen here pretty much just describing everything that's new within screen time your weekly reports your content and privacy restrictions you also have your downtimes for app and app limits and you also have your screen time passcodes so pretty much explaining everything that's going on with screen time in iOS 16 and now also something that I wanted to talk about and these are emoji stickers that have been here since beta 1 but I just wanted to mention that this has been rearranged so if we go to custom Customizing our Memoji here, we go to edit here. We now have these new Memoji stickers on the top here. So we have, let's see, this one here, start this one here with snapping the fingers, stop. We also have this one here, this one, and yawning right there. So we have about five new ones, and these have been here, but they've been rearranged. And this carousel, they used to be all the way at the end in beta one, but now they're sort of in the center of this carousel here. And yeah, in case you didn't know, we have five new stickers right here. Or your Memoji customization. So yeah, pretty cool there. Something that I just wanted to mention there quickly. Now I also want to shift my attention over to notifications here briefly. This isn't something particularly new with the latest beta, but I continue to get these new notification, I guess, splash screens you can call them, before going in into any application after updating the OS. So when I updated the OS, obviously the uh, Maps application here prompted me to enable notifications, a brief description. This has happened also on the latest beta here for stay motivated with fitness. As you can see right there, fitness notifications. So yeah, Apple continues to push these notifications out. And again, this isn't something new with beta 2, but something that I did want to mention. Now, I also want to jump over into the tips application because not many users go into the tips application in iOS. And this application with iOS 16 is actually getting rather useful. We go into be prepared, which is one of the best features built into this app. It's been rearranged, fixed, and updated. You actually get some useful information. So you get in case of an emergency, and now it redirects you to actually go ahead and set up that emergency contact if you wish to do so and you also have additional options right here for review your health checklist as well so now it redirects you directly to your health checklist and you can get things done so it's not just information you actually get redirected to those particular categories and sections of the OS in order to actually improve your user experience overall let's shift our attention to performance so far I've noticed that iOS 16 continues to crash within the music app 
application, especially when connecting to third party speakers to listen to music. It crashes, it crashes in the vehicle constantly. Now the notification overlapping isn't happening within beta 2, which I'm happy to report. But one thing that you guys will be happy to learn about, and again, this is something that we continue to monitor, but the battery on iOS 16 developer beta 2 has improved dramatically from beta 1. I would barely make it through my day in beta 2. I now can make it through my entire day with no problem. I'm happy to report this. Now, battery on beta software sometimes can be buggy, can be tricky, and I don't typically like to judge the battery on beta software because it tends to be kind of low, right, in terms of performance. But now beta 2, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you're looking to update to iOS 16 beta and venture into the software, beta 2 can now get you through the entire day worth of battery. So that's something worth mentioning and that's something that I wanted to make sure you guys knew about. There you guys have it. Just a quick update on iOS 16 developer beta 2. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.